welcome to bilmer vlogs today we will discuss about the heart activity what i mean by heart activity whenever you are measuring the fetal heart rate in an early pregnancy you are then counting how much you are not counting the machine is counting how much is the fetal cardiac activity now not only to label that this is the heart rate but you have to correlate your heart rate whatever you are getting heart rate with the crl because because if you are dealing with the free till bradycardia that will tell upon the prognosis so the prognosis will be decided by the fetal heart rate the fetal heart rate should be appropriate what i mean by appropriate if for example you are having a fetal bradycardia at 90 or 80 beats per minute most likely you will be losing that fetus so the point is not only to see for the fetal cardiac activity but you have to correlate your fetal cardiac activity with crl now let us see how first of all i am not much bothered about the tachycardia bradycardia is worrisome so let us discuss about the fetal bradycardia the heart rate of less than 80 beats per minute now 80 beats per minute please make a note 80 beats per minute in an embryo with crl of less than 5 mm is having a high embryonic demise so it means that it means that whenever the crl is less than 5 mm and the heart rate is below 80 beats per minute most likely you'll be losing that fetus so label this fetus as fetal bradycardia now 80 to 90 per, uh, beats per minute if now it is not less than 80 if it is 80 to 90 beats per minute there are 60% risk so 60% of risk of demise if the fetal heart rate is in the bracket of 80 to 90 with crl of 5 mm so it means that even 80 to 90 is having a high risk now as the fetal heart rate is increasing now it is 90 to 99 beats per minute even with this heart rate i am having a 32% of risk of demise it means that now see here 100 is having a 11% of risk of demise it means that whenever i am having a crl of 5 mm i should have more than 100 beats per minute fetal heart rate now see more than 100 with crl of 5 and the dropping now concentrate here the dropping the dropping crl uh, sorry the fetal heart rate is increasing the risk of demise so more it will drop more the risk is there so always correlate it with crl not only to label that fetal heart rate is there and it is this much no you have to see how much it is and you can even mention that there is a risk of fetal demise but keep in mind that this is true for less than 5 mm of crl because as crl is increasing i mean when it is in the bracket of 5 to 9 mm the heart rate of 100 is associated with abnormal outcome here the normal heart rate should be more than 120 beats per minute now make a note that whenever crl is less than 5 mm the heart rate should be more than 100 beats per minute but as the fetus is advancing i mean as the crl is going from 5 to 9 mm the heart rate has to increase and it should be more than 120 beats per minute so when the embryo is growing when the crl is now in the bracket of 10 to 
15 millimeters heart rate of less than 110 beats per minute is associated with poor prognosis so make a note that whenever fetal heart rate is dropping whenever there is fetal bradycardia that is not a good sign it is having a poor prognosis and see how much CRL is there whenever the CRL is less than five millimeters you have to see that the fetal you have to make sure that the fetal heart rate is more than 100 beats per minute and as the CRL is increasing and if it is in the bracket of five to nine the heart rate should be more than 120 so the point is not only to label fetal heart rate this much 100 you have to correlate it with the CRL and you have to label at times whenever you are getting it with fetal bradycardia so that your consultant will get alert and necessary precautions are taken so that uh, the fetus will not be lost so I hope that uh, you are enjoying these uh, Billman vlogs for complete courses you can visit our website www.billman.net or you can contact our helpline thank you very much